Good morning, happy Monday. Welcome to Ozarks Fox AM. We're officially in the holiday season of Christmas. What? I'm Jeremy Rabe. Oh, I'm Maddie Conklin. As you can see, I am debuting a brand new Christmas sweater for today. I've been waiting to wear this for today. For you, Maddie. I know. You know how much we love the Little Debbie Christmas tree cakes. They're the best. I have one now. I, it's so warm and toasty, and I love this. And I've, you know, I may have already gone through a box at home. I don't know. I'm not. Well, I'm glad you left some for us. By the way. Just a few. Maddie, I got these yesterday <laughs> because, because in honor of the shirt and our B block, we will be doing a little Debbie taste test. Also, can I just say, I'm so happy you're back. Oh, not that, not thank that I haven't you. had fun co-hosting, but I've, I'm just so happy you're back. I'm glad. I'm actually glad to be back. I got some are time off. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. You're like, are you? Are you? You uh, had yes, some nice days off. I needed the time. So I got to actually watch the show as a viewer last Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Because mm -hmm. I was putting up my Christmas stuff while I was off to have time. So then I could go to Las Vegas for Thanksgiving. And just set it, forget it. Here's the thing, Miss Maddie. The jet lag of the two hours, we're used to getting up early anyway. And then take away the two hours. The first day I was in Vegas, I got up at 4 a.m. because I could not sleep. Oh, that's I'm like, the worst. Yeah, well, yeah, because you're like, okay, it's 6 a.m. body time, and right. we already wake up early enough. Yes. You know, even on the weekends, we wake up at like 6. Yeah. So. So that's the how do you do. Well, how was, um, how was the big, what is it called, the dome? The sphere. The sphere. How the was it? The sphere was very, very, very cool. Um, I didn't put that picture in, but... I did, I shot some, I may have to edit a video together. I shot some B-roll of the lobby and they have these, um, these AI robots that can talk to you oh. and you can talk to them and they have conversations with you. Nothing is pre-recorded like at the Really? Parts. So you could be like one conversation that happened with a friend. Hmm. They were like, the AI robot said, so what do you do? And the guy goes, I'm a singer. And he goes, oh, where do you sing? And they're having a full on conversation. And then the robot says, can you sing something for me? The guy started singing and the robot started dancing. Okay, that's creepy. Full on conversation. That's creepy. I'm sorry. I Crazy. mean, it sounds really cool, but like, that's yeah. creepy. It's beautiful. I do have a few pictures to show you just from Vegas. This is, um, at, this is the 23rd floor of our hotel having afternoon tea. Oh, afternoon tea. and tea. crumpets, if you will. <laughs> it was very nice. And then, of course, when you're in Vegas, you go to Paris. Oh, of course. You know. Yeah. But anyway, it was just, it was beautiful. The weather was great. I actually got to go swimming one day at the hotel. The weather was actually nice enough to. And you swim. thought you were in the wrong hotel room. But you just got guys the best suite of life. If you have not checked it out, I did a room tour. Here's the full facts of that. I did not get kicked out of that room. However, I also did not pay for that room. <laughs> okay, I did not pay what that room was worth. I booked a room. They, uh, they must have upgraded or gave us the wrong room and didn't know because our bill was not anything what out of what might. I expected. Yeah. So can you believe it? I got that sweet, sweet. You got that sweet, sweet. Sweet life of Jeremy Ray. Crazy. I got <laughs> to stay. I'm there. going to Vegas with you next. Okay. Okay. I should have. I should have played some slots. Right. I should have gambled. <laughs> Jesse, I didn't even gamble the whole I, time. I was just about to say you had some pretty good luck out there with that one. Where, yeah. where did you stay, if you don't mind? I was asking. staying. Well, now that I'm back here, I yeah. don't mind. Staying. Yeah. It was the Waldorf Astoria, oh. Las Vegas. Okay. Oh, okay. there's one in L.A. Formerly, I didn't know this hotel. I guess a few years ago, got bought. It used to be the Mandarin Oriental Hotel. Okay. And okay. they got bought out, but now it's the Waldorf Astoria, which I thought was only in New York. Wow. Yes. There's a huge Waldorf Astoria in New York. There's also one in Los Angeles. Is there? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's fun. Did not know. Is that on the strip nice. or just off? It or? is on the strip. It is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That must just blend in with all It's a the hidden other. gem, if you will, and it's one of yeah. the only ones that does not have a casino in the lobby. Oh, okay. You know where I've stayed? Where? Excalibur. <laughs> I love Excalibur. Yeah. Hey, the if you're looking, to, if you're looking for the cheap, you know, you can pay for it at the slots, possibly. You know, you this hit it. That's true. It doesn't take much of a jackpot either. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I like the Flamingo. That's my favorite one. Oh, oh nice. yeah. Yes. Love it. I love, love the Flamingo. It. By the way, fun fact. Sorry, I know we got to get uh -huh. headlines. They're uh -huh. tearing down the Tropicana <gasps> to build really? the baseball stadium. Oh, what? I didn't know that. Isn't I just, the Tropicana like iconic? His, yeah. Oh. It's Frank down Sinatra. by the MGM Grand. It's so iconic. My friends who live there, we went out uh -huh. with them one night, and they was like, oh, they're tearing down the Tropicana for the wow. new. Because they said sports is making such a huge mm. impact on Vegas now. Oh, okay. I remember seeing the note that the Oakland Athletics would be moving to Vegas in the next uh, oh. five or six years or so. So there you go. That makes sense. Made me sad, yeah. though. Can well, I just say one quick thing real quick? Please do. I, yeah. I watched The Godfather in, in its entirety yesterday for the first time ever. I did not know it was based off Frank Sinatra. Oh, I didn't either. Uh, I've never watched it. So Michael I don't know. Corleone. I haven't either. Is I haven't seen it. Supposed either. to be Frank Sinatra. Yeah. 
Crazy. Anyway, speaking anyway, of that. Sorry. Sorry, Jesse. <laughs> okay. Well, I do have one for you here. Uh, the word of the year. The Merriam-Webster's word of the year. Sorry. <laughs> Merriam-Webster's oh, word yeah. Oh, yeah. of the year is out for 2023. Here it is. Authentic. Authentic. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Webster says, in an age of artificial intelligence and political spin, there has been a huge surge in lookups for the word authentic. Common definitions include worthy of acceptance or belief and not false or imitation. Now, last year's word of the year was gaslighting. I feel like I saw that every, oh, other, yeah. every other TikTok yeah, post. I still don't know what that about, means, but okay. Was about that. Uh, among runners up, are words like deep fake, implode, and kibbutz. So authentic though, topping the list. Authentic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say you both are authentic. I try to be. Yeah, we're yeah. doing our best. I try here. to be my authentic so, self. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, pretty easy. You guys around, so. Well, there you are. Too crazy. It's fascinating yeah. with the words. I still, because I see, I watch a lot of The Real Housewives, uh -huh. and they're always like, you're gaslighting me. Quit gaslighting. And I'm like, does that mean just like you're, Egging somebody on to make them feel bad, or what, what does that mean? You, you um, basically how do you describe it? take how they're feeling and turn it around on them. Like, if I were to be like, I'm really sad right now, you'd be like, you would switch it. If I was, or if I was upset with you, uh -huh. and I'd be like, I'm really upset with you, Jeremy. You'd uh -huh. be like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm upset with you because, mm -hmm. like, you just. Flip it. Oh. Yeah. I'm not justifying your authentic feelings. There you go. Boom. Boom, drop the Gaslighting. Mic. Love to see. Gaslit. <laughs> yeah, drop the, drop the okay. thing. All right. Uh, of course, a big weekend with the holidays, big weekend, everybody's around the TV for football. Mm -hmm. And I want to show you one of my favorite moments from the weekend, not related to sports in any way. Oh. oh. Or at least football, I should say, because this darn sure is a sport. Mm -hmm. It happened during halftime of the Denver Broncos game. Here it is. Is that a sheep? Mm-hmm. It sure is mutton busting out there <laughs> at halftime. Who is that? Uh, that's a child. Oh, yeah. there's a monkey. <laughs> Look at it. Oh my gosh. So, I thought it was a little monkey. Yeah, uh, folks who are in the rodeo community definitely familiar with mutton busting. It's like mutton busting. I can't say it without just dropping the yeah. G on the end. Uh, usually held at rodeos, similar to bull riding, oh. but the goal is for the kids <laughs> to stay on the sheep as long as they can as the sheep runs and tries to knock them off here. Um, the Broncos won their fifth straight game, by the way, but that's not important. Oh, the, uh, nice. yeah, the, uh, I, I kind of like that. Maybe it's like a way for kids to get their start in bull riding, you yeah. know, but mm -hmm. they got to start on something a little smaller. Yeah. So, yeah. That is some Mutton cool. busting. Yeah. yeah. Now I used yeah. to, I used to hop on my uncle's back and be like, Tuck me around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's how I started. <laughs> big dogs, like when I was a kid. There you like, go. There yep. were a couple of big dogs that came around in my life, and yeah. I would try to ride them, and they were not okay with it. And they were not so, okay with it. Not um, cool. And mm -hmm. Jesse, not to bring up a sore subject. Uh, Please do. I was gone last week. I didn't get your take on the whole Eagles Chiefs game. Yeah, that was a uh, hard one. Was I was hard very one. tired. But they won yesterday, so we're good. So. They did, yes. And then the Chiefs Eagles, Eagles helped us out. Very. The Eagles helped us out yesterday by beating the Bills, so yeah. that helped things. Um, that if, was a very know, close game. It was fun. I actually watched it, and I it, was, it like was a good one. Drawn yeah. in. It, yeah. it was a, a great game yesterday. But now the Eagles have, or sorry, the the Chiefs now will play the Packers uh, next Sunday night, and okay. I'm off Monday, so I'm staying up. Yeah, you are. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, yeah you are. Yeah. <laughs>